Eh. I think that works. Okay. Hiatus is over. I have moved as much. I guess I should probably turn the other microphone on, huh? That might be good. Does that look good? I hit my hair. I'm like balding in this one weird patch. You see this? Do you see this? <sighs> this is what happens when you get old. Mm. Yeah, Chipotle. Mm -mm -mm, Chipotle. I didn't bring my nice glasses today. Because I forgot, and they're in the RV, and I'm not running all the way back there to get them. I don't know if it's gotten echoey, echoey in here. Echo, 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 echo. Uh, but I've like removed a ton of stuff, obviously, because like there are things missing back here now. <laughs> so we're moving. Big surprise. Ha ha ha. Um, I have sold quite a few things. I'll link to the eBay profile where a bunch more stuff is actually going to be listed. I'm throwing some bags up there, some random pottery, like just stuff. Stuff needs to go. Uh, most of everything that's going to be in the RV has moved into the RV, uh, except all of the pets. I'm gonna wait until Steve comes back from Pennsylvania to move the kitties into the RV, because then it'll be official. At that point, like, we're in, we're done. Right now, I'm kind of transitioning between the two, because there's no mattress here. <laughs> so, anyway, rather than continue to tell you things about the RV, because RV videos are going to start after we finish our Hawaiian trip. So I'm going to try and get through these next two videos lickety split because I know I went to Hawaii like a month ago and we get to get on the road. We're leaving like June 20, 21st, 22nd at some point so that we can go to California for Corgi Beach Day in Long Beach. So if you're in the California, like SoCal area and you want to come hang out for Corgi Beach Day, I'm going to be there. Jets be there. Steve will be there. The kitties will be in the RV. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna do this via the 101. And yeah, I know there's a big landslide on California one, so we can't go down Big Star. Boo. But whatever, I'm over it. We'll get there when they clean it up. <laughs> Seriously, like we'll just go back another time. Oh no, the horror. All right, I've rambled for far too long. Where did we leave off? Oh, right, Kauai. The oldest island, the Garden Island. The Jurassic Park Island and South Pacific and Lilo and Stitch and Raiders of the Lost Ark and Pirates of the Caribbean and Tropic Thunder and I could go on for a while. A lot of stuff has been filmed in Kauai. We technically spent two days here, but we took the first day off. Literally nothing scheduled. It was pretty awesome. But I am getting way, way, way ahead of myself here. We first need to dock the boat up against the pier dock thing. So let's go do that first. Come on. It's all stuff that they dredge up though. I hate that. That drives me nuts. What? It's exactly how much silt and soot and all that stuff that they're just dragging up. It just doesn't look good. It doesn't look healthy. Well, you wouldn't want to drink it, but well, no. it's salt water anyway. So. True. But like, stuff lives in that water. Yeah, we've just like made it a smoggy day. Now they live in LA instead of Hawaii. Like. <sighs> I'm gonna get back to that rooster. You just hold your horses. I'm gonna try and explain this the best I can, but I have no guarantees of my accuracy. But this is what we witnessed and I got video proof. So, the boat that we're on, ship, boat, thing has these impressive 360 degree rotating propulsion units on the four major corners of the boat, at least to my understanding, which is why we can come in at this thing sideways, which is really cool. Now they have to hook up the lines. The way that they do that is the guys on the boat throw kind of a weight on a little string that then turns into a slightly bigger string, that then turns into the actual lines that are going to tie the boat up to the pier. These things are really heavy, which is why the forklift guy is here. So then you think, Allie, come on, there is way too much slack in that line. How is the boat ever going to stay up against the pier? Well, they have this winch inside of the boat that actually pulls all that slack up. Here, watch. It straightened itself out. The entire crew repeats this procedure three, four, five, six, seven, eight, multiple, multiple more times. You can never over-secure, but you can always, always under-secure. It sounds like a flatbed thing. 
Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get onto the island. The first place that we really went and looked at was this thing called the Spouting Horn. And it lives up to its name. It spouts and it makes a really weird noise. That's the spouting horn. Then we went ahead and we took a ride up to Waimea Canyon, which is really a spectacle to see. It's super pretty. So I'm just gonna let you guys check it out. I told you I was gonna get back to that rooster chicken baby chickens this island is infested and I say infested because it's they're everywhere they're absolutely everywhere they're in a Walmart parking lot they're in a Kmart parking lot they're on top of this mountain they're literally everywhere and it's all because of a hurricane that happened in the 90s that ripped open a whole bunch of chicken coops and cockfighting establishments and now Kauai just has lots of chickens what is the tugboat doing, aside from nothing? Maybe he's gonna help push us around. I don't know if he's here for us or here for the barge. Or here to keep barge us certainly from, doesn't look ready. <laughs> here to keep us from hitting the barge, perhaps? Um, I have a feeling that they're going to help push us so that we can get facing the right way to get out. Right. Which would be pretty cool. He certainly looks lined up Right. for us. Yeah, those are totally going on barge. Oh, that's cool. So that was our trip to Kauai, two days wrapped into one. We never really figured out what the tugboat was doing. It might have just been escorting us out of the bay. Until next time, Kawhi, we will see you later. Can't get enough of Valley Night and Steve. Can't wait until the next episode comes out. I'm really hoping it's tomorrow. Either way, you should check out our podcast and you can find it both on iTunes or Google Play or anywhere that podcasts are available. It's called Alley Night and Steve's Ultimate Vacation, even though it's really not a vacation. But we take your questions and talk about whatever comes to mind, which seems to mostly be football lately. Sometimes we have special guests. But if you're looking for more content, you can definitely check it out again on iTunes or Google Play or anywhere that you get your podcast. And if it's not there, let us know so that we can get it there. <laughs> you can also go ahead and follow us both on Twitter. That's all in the description down below. We have Facebooks and a Facebook page you can also follow us on. We have an Instagram that's chock full of relevant and irrelevant photos. And you can also do all of the recommended YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Join us on our journey. Leave some commentary. Let me know how you like the videos because I know that they're super different. We only have a few more days in Hawaii and then we go to Vancouver and then hopefully we'll skip a lot of time because it's been really boring and go to California. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Hopefully tomorrow.